Yo, what up? In this video, we're going to be talking about three things you can do when you're bored in recovery. Stay tuned. Uh, welcome back to another lesson here at Sobriety University. This channel is designed to help people navigate their sober journey. Uh, this video, we're going to be talking about some things to do when bored because Without the drugs and alcohol anymore, as we're letting them go, some, sometimes a lot of boredom can arise and we just kind of don't know, really know what to do with ourselves. So, uh, so these are some of the things that have really helped me and kind of um, given myself purpose um, in the outer anyway. Number one is to do something spontaneous. Now, a great thing I heard was to go 30 minutes from where you live in any direction and just kind of explore. So going for nature walks, um, going to movies, just doing something that kind of breaks the routine is going to be really helpful to keep you stay motivated and just kind of enjoy life a little more because uh, it can be very easy to get kind of stuck in the mon mundanity of life and, and the routine just the over and over and over and uh, yeah it just can it, this can be really helpful in kind of lifting our spirits uh, when we're feeling down. Uh, something else too that could be helpful is to try out different meetings um, for those that are going to support groups and stuff, just kind of trying something new. It kind of, there's something about being in a new environment that kind of, kind of stops the brain a little bit. And it's just like a, a whole new experience. So highly recommend that. Number two is to get into a hobby. So this one's helped me a lot, uh, especially when I was first starting out and kind of when there were some really rough days. So uh, for me, it's music. I produce music and uh, I enjoy listening to it doing some DJing and stuff and so that's been something that I've been able to pursue and it's kind of just kind of uh, let me separate a little bit from 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 life and kind of it's a very healthy escape I think uh, it can definitely become an addiction so <laughs> just saying like got to be careful with our hobbies so you know we we enjoy them in a in a moderate way um, that being said though I really think it's important to find something that can give us some outer purpose and, and give us something to focus on. Uh, I enjoy golf too. Last summer I picked up golf and been learning how to how to hit. Yeah, you just think it's a tiny little ball and how hard could it be? And uh, 18 holes later and a couple broken clubs, you know. <laughs> so that that's one for me. Uh, doing some snowboarding this winter, just kind of trying to mix things up a little bit. Uh, it kind of goes along with uh, the spontaneity, uh, kind of, yeah pushing our comfort zone a little bit and usually find a lot of joy in it. And uh, maybe who knows, it could turn into like a long-term like career path, path uh, passion, uh, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of positives that can come out of this. The next one is gonna be uh, simply just to enjoy life. So just take pleasure in the little things like going for walks, uh, hanging out with friends again. And I think this kind of, comes when we have a when kind of the drug effects wear off we just are kind of left with this natural like joy for life and we kind of i know when it's when we're quitting and we're in that initial period the first few months it can be there's it's just like how can anything be enjoyable like there's just no happy feelings um especially and then when we look down at kind of like just like something simple like going for a walk it's like how does this compare to like going to a nightclub or something and eventually our brain just kind of normalizes like the the chemical the chemicals in our brain just eventually balance out and we we get the same i guess rush from doing just simple things like i know like coming back from work and, and knowing that i'm going to make a some good food that like it's been pretty pumped and it's like before before like it, it before it sounds so bored on paper i know and before i was like why would i ever think that could be enjoyable like it's just eating uh and so yeah it's just like yeah learning how to appreciate the little things and uh kind of yeah just kind of recognizing when they come and like um, how special they really can be so thank you guys so much for watching this video for anyone that has uh, really appreciate it uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you appreciate the content and want to stay in tune for more recovery related stuff uh you can always opt out anytime and uh, we also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, so feel free to hit the link or the email down in the description. And uh, yeah, look forward to doing another video with you guys and talk to you next time. Peace.